One thing we always talk about here is the constantly changing skyline of Austin, but it is not happening just downtown. Here's a live look at West Campus, where you can see cranes working right now, adding more high-rise living. And now another development project is in the works in West Campus. But this one's a little bit different, and it's already home to a historic landmark, as you see here. KXN's Alyssa Gord found out how developers will have to work around to keep an Austin history landmark alive. Well, the building was actually constructed in um, 1869 by George Franklin. George Franklin was a freed slave. Later, Reverend Jacob Fontaine lived in this building and ran the Gold Dollar newspaper, one of the first African-American newspapers west of the Mississippi. African-Americans post the Civil War were settling here. Um, and of course, that building sits in one of our little um, Friedman's areas. Towering above are Skyrise student apartment complexes. A developer has applied to build another one around it with as many as 500 bedrooms and underground parking garage. The proposed project, while it is going to be built around this building, uh, retains the context to as high a degree as possible. Of the historic building. The city's historic landmark commission gave the project a go ahead back in September. Developers plan to build the apartments in a U shape around the building and must leave 15 feet of buffer space. Friedman says it's still business as usual. The developer says they're working with the restaurant through the whole process. My personal belief is that it's one of the most important buildings in the city. Those who love the building are waiting curiously to see how Austin evolves around it. My hope is that we can preserve it because not only was it built in 1869, it was built by a freed slave who has helped to build Austin to what it is today. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. That building at 24th and San Gabriel, the city of Austin's development services tell us that the group has submitted the site plan. City staff reviewed it and gave back comments. Now they're waiting for the developer to submit a revised plan. A spokesperson for the department noted that things could still change a lot in the revision process. Friedman's dates back to 1869, as we mentioned, making it one of the oldest buildings in the city of Austin. And some of the oldest include St. David's Episcopal Church, the Governor's Mansion, General Land Office, and the German Free School.